a student sent me in a question uh, from an ACT, and what I've done is I've rewritten it, basically keeping the question as it is, just changing the numbers, uh, partly because I don't want to use their tests uh, if I can avoid it. I'd rather rewrite their questions when I can, and it allows the student who asked this question and any of you in the future who might stumble on this question or a question like it to be able to try that actual question yourself without me spoiling it and solving it. But this will show you that the method. So we're given a function and we want to know what is equal to this thing for all real numbers x. This symbol means the inverse. So we're looking for the inverse function of this given function. And there's a way to do that. The first thing you do is you write it with y. So you say y is equal to, in this case, the fifth root of x minus 6. And the first step to find your inverse is you switch the x and the y's. So I'm going to make this x is equal to the fifth root of y minus 6. The next thing you need to do is get the equation in terms of x or have it be y equals blah. And then that y equals blah will be your inverse. So what I'll do is I'll raise both sides to the fifth power. And when I do that, I get x to the fifth is equal to y minus 6 because the fifth root raised to the fifth power will cancel. Next, I'm going to move the 6 over, and I'm going to be left with x to the fifth plus 6. And that's it. And on the ACT this test, this question came from, uh, this was a number 60, surprisingly. So not that bad if you know what they're looking for and the basic approach to do it. Uh, the question that was on the particular test was the cube root of like x plus 2 or something. Same exact strategy. Swap the x and the y, rearrange to solve for y equals, and you'll get your answer. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll, and you can find the link in the description below the video.